Hey ladies, welcome to day two. Um, and I think that we're going to change it up a little bit because we didn't start at the beginning of the month. That way we can, um, I have my baby here, so that way we can be on track. It will finish in October instead of November. Um, so tomorrow, if you read three and four, we'll do three and four on tomorrow. Then you'll read five and six, then seven and eight, then nine and ten. Um, and then once we get to Thursday, I believe, we'll be caught up. Wednesday will be our last day doing two days. Um, and then Thursday will be on chapter 11. So, um, let's do that so that we're caught up. So, two a day until we get to Thursday and we'll be on chapter 11. Um, we'll read two chapters and then we'll discuss at the end of the day. Uh, I was supposed to start this on the first, but I hesitated. But anyway, all right, so day two, we're in Proverbs chapter two, and it talks about the benefits of having wisdom. Um, it starts off saying, if you receive my words and hide my commandments. So he's saying, if you, uh, King James Version, my son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, then it tells you what the benefits will be. Um, so if you go down to verse four, he says that if you look for it as for silver, and chase for it as for hidden treasures, um, then you'll find me. So he's saying that it's like it's like us today. You know how um, the silver he's talking about, the hidden treasure, he's talking about money. Like we chase after money. A lot of us, we're always talking about grinding. We're always talking about, I got to get this money. I got to get this dough. Got to get this cheddar, well, this bacon, whatever you call it. And then we're always talking about, um, we're always going to different jobs or I got to get the next job. Or we go to school to get this degree so that we can get this job. It pays more money. And we're always seeking out the money because money keeps this world really going. Everybody's like, I got to have it. I got to have it. I got to have it. And God says, if you seek out the wisdom like that, like you chase out the money, then you're going to find it. Sorry, I have my baby here. So, um, let me go back to my notes. Um, and then in verse 5, he says, Then shall you understand the fear of the Lord. Um, we talked about the fear of the Lord yesterday. Uh, we talked about them, and he's like referencing him, knowing, saying that he's God is God, believing in him, uh, referencing his presence, having that relationship with him. Um, and then it says that... Um, in verse 6, it says, For the Lord giveth wisdom. It's not something that you're... So so basically, that's that's my favorite one. On verse 6, he said, it says, For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. It says, From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Um, basically, it's not something that you're taught. It's not something that you can... You can um, uh, that you're learned, that you learn, but it's something that comes from God. I mean, you can go to school, you can, you can um, gain knowledge and understanding, but true wisdom, true wisdom comes from God. And then, if we, let me go right here. Um, if you go to verse 12, it says, Wisdom will save you from the ways of the wicked man. Um, and if you go to, I think the NIV says, The discretion will preserve you, understand you, keep, will keep you and deliver you from the evil man. Um, so, what he's saying here is, the, that means those guys, those guys that are no good, the evil man, the ones who make you leave your good path, the path of righteousness. If anybody who deters you from that, it says wisdom is going to it's gonna help you out. It's going to keep you from making that mistake. The ones who can get in your ear and tell you what you want to hear. And then you think, oh, this guy's great. He's good looking on the outside, but on the inside, he's full of evil. He got all these schemes. Of, or he's with this woman and that woman and this woman. And, you know, and um, you're falling for his evil ways. Although it's not shown on the outside, but it's on the inside of him. But you can't see that. 
but that's what wisdom is going to help keep you from. So that's what 12 says. It says, wisdom will save you from the ways of the wicked man. And, um, and, um, and then if you go on to, it's not only, only men, um, you go on to 16. Now my, my other two kids are in here, so I hope you guys can hear me. 16 says, to deliver you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words. So, um, what it's saying is, the woman who made a covenant with God, um, if you go to, if you read the NIV, it calls it an adulterous woman. Um, but... He's saying that wisdom will keep you from women like this. Um, but two things to note. He says we, we, think, we think that Solomon is talking to a man. But if you look at the traits of, about this woman. Um, it says that she is a seductress woman. And she flatters with her words. So that's like a woman that's flirty. Um, uh, you say, oh, that's not me. I'm not adulterous. But if you're, you know, you're a flirty woman sleeping around. Um, if you go deeper, some of those women's traits are some of the traits that some of us have as well. So, um, yeah, it says that wisdom is going to keep you from that. So everything that we went over was the benefits of having wisdom. But I believe that the main benefit is in this ending when it says in 21, the upright will dwell in the land and the blameless will remain in it. So we're going to inherit the land. So if we remain righteous, we will live in the land. And it says that the wicked is going to be cut off and the unfaithful will be uprooted. So I believe that that's the main benefit. And, um... Again, that was the ending of chapter 2 of Proverbs and basically giving us the benefits of having wisdom. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for every single woman who has tuned in. Lord, we ask that you forgive us for our sins, those we know of, those that we don't know of. God, we ask that you bless us with more wisdom, God. God, we ask that you just... Um, fill us up, God. Give us more knowledge, God. More understanding, God. Keep us from those wicked men and those wicked ways and anything that's unrighteous, Lord, because we want to dwell in the land, Lord. And we love you. You're wonderful. You're amazing. In Jesus' name I'm praying. Amen. And you guys have a blessed day. I'm looking forward to day three. See you here tomorrow.